boom, that's crazy. That's crazy. For one CP, every Necron player just got buffed. It's a flat buff. Amazing. Guys, Tyranid's Metabolic Overdrive is back. Fuck yes. That's what we like to see. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, g Dubs, why do you do this to us? Why did... Put your bets down below. I promise they will not have fixed Metabolic Overdrive. Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here. It's another Kill Team Annual Warhammer Community post. Therefore, it's another Kill Team Annual Warhammer Community reading by me. Right, let's start. Now, I wasn't actually going to cover this, but then I thought, you know what? This is probably the last we're going to hear about the Kill Team Annual until, until it releases on, uh, you know, next Saturday, Saturday the 7th. So why not? A bit of a Hail Mary... A Sarah Sarah, a why are they doing this to me? Okay. So the brand new all sing all dancing Kill Team Manny 2019 is almost upon us this weekend. You'll be able to pre-order the glorious new tome but oh glorious. Are they Chapter Master Valrak? Is Chapter Master Valrak then? We may never know. But in the meantime, we're treating you to some previews of the awesome content you'll find within. Today we're picking our top five features. Implying that there are more than just five features, but okay. I'll give it to them. I don't think there will be, but let's find out. So obviously the thing that this channel probably cares about the most is points, right? That's what we're hyped for. Allow me to kill that for you. Number five, don't be pointless, dot, 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 ellipses. Have some points, have all of the points for every data sheet and item of war gear, no less, including those featured in the game's expansion, such as Kill Team Elites and Kill Team Commanders. The points values for each faction have been compiled into one place for your convenience. Less time spent bookkeeping means more time to unleash violence and masterful strategy on the battlefield. Yeah, so what we all know about this is that what they are actually telling... Oh, so uh, I can zoom in on this. I did very quickly squint quite, quite hard to have a look at the points cost. As far as I could tell, all of the points cost here are um correct uh, you know they are they are what they were there are no changes to any points costs making zero changes to an entire faction in this case the depths of Stasis, which is arguably the largest faction probably I, th I think it's a pretty clear indication that there will not be any points balance changes uh for for us Oh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Actually, I realise that my, you know, I mean, this channel's all about, I like to have a rant. I like to, um, I, I was pretty hyped for the idea that there were going to be new points values, you know, it was going to change the game and GW was really paying attention to the game and really wanted to, you know, make it balanced. They haven't done that. Um, why am I okay with it? Because, okay, and like just, I actually think Kill Team is a very well balanced game. Yes, there are some obvious issues. Drones should not be seven points. I'm just going to say that. But there are some pretty obvious issues. Um, and I th th but I think in general, if you're just a casual player of Kill Team, it's really well balanced, you know? And probably if you're a casual player, you're also playing a bunch of the narrative missions, which inherently unbalance it. So, yeah. I'm actually, I'm okay with it. This isn't that big of a deal. Um, the other thing from my perspective is that because there are no points changes, it's kind of GW coming out and saying, hey, we think what we've given you is acceptable deal with it and as somebody that's trying to write a rules packet for a tournament that's kind of a positive because it means I don't have to think about GW has balanced what I am attempting to balance with my rules pack so yeah cool it's fine it's not the biggest thing in the world really but that's points there are no changes 
Do we? Do we care? No. I'm pretty. I'm pretty okay with it. Anyway, specialist for you. We already know about the specialist thing. I'm not going to cover it again. Um, does this tell us anything new? Not really. Feel free to go and read it yourselves, of course. All the missions. <clears throat> 32 to be precise. That's 16 each for narrative and match play, compiled from various Kill Team expansions, so if you missed out before, you can catch up in one fell swoop. In any case, you certainly won't be running out of missions to play anytime soon. It's worth mentioning that these missions were originally designed to include at least one kill team from a specific faction to represent their more nuanced military objectives and preferred methods of fighting covert warfare. However, with a bit of tweaking, you can easily adapt them to cater to whichever kill teams your gaming group has available. They're also a great opportunity to start a new kill team or two to see how they play. You never know. You may find your allegiance shifts as you discover a new faction of choice. Oh! Holy shit, they're putting zero effort into this. They couldn't even remove the blurb at the start of it saying uh, one of the players should be a Tyranids player and that player begins with the initiative or whatever, or the strategic advantage. They couldn't even remove that. Good stuff, G-dubs. Oh, that's... That's... Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Fuck me. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> the ultimate compilation. Collating all the points values is one thing, but putting all of the many tactics, aura tactics, and psychic powers that are available to each faction, including those that were previously exclusive to the game's expansions, is also super awesome. Is it GW? Fuck it. Chances are, you'll soon be making use of handy new tactics you've never e uh, even seen before. Uh, the Kill Team Manual also features Kill Team Rules for Crute, Chaos Demons, Servants of the Abyss, as well as loads of data sheets taken from the pages of White Dwarf, meaning you have the full spectrum of rules assets in one convenient place. Do you think they're going to fix Eisenhorn? Highly questionable, I think. Highly questionable. Okay, so... I'm going to really focus on the positive here. Uh, this is a good thing. Yep. Okay, you could argue as some people have, that um, this, they're selling us what they've already sold us. They're just, they're repackaging it. We are getting nothing new. That is true. Good point. Good point. Uh, we don't need to go over the Adeptus Sororitas. I will get rid of the bright white screen for you now. We're not using it. So good point, fair point on the whole, we've already purchased this. I can't argue with that. But honestly, uh, yeah, that's fine by me. I'm happy to buy this. Uh, I don't really want to carry around like six white dwarfs um, whilst I'm out there, you know, playing games. Uh, I'm ha because I've decided to play both Crute and... Oh, wait. Hold on. No, no, okay. I still have to carry around my Gale, uh, the, my rogue trader. If I play Gellapox or Elysidian Star Riders, the forgotten factions uh, by GW, uh, then uh, yeah, I'd I'd uh, I'd still have to carry them around. <clears throat> but yeah, ooh, ooh, let's have a quick look. Can we see? Have they changed any of the crew tactics here? Oh, I've taken it away from the screen. You can't see it. Uh, I'm just going to confirm it for you. The Kroot Kill Team tactics are the same. So there you go. Agile Hunter still allows you to jump a gap that is 4 inches instead of 2 inches. Kroot OP, my gosh. Good stuff. Okay, um, so no, I do think this is a really good thing. Partly because I don't like exclusive content that you have to be in the game for at a specific time to own, that's bollocks, especially when the content's not that good, you know, uh, like not being able to get access to crude or demons or whatever uh, is just bad business. Um, and like if somebody's coming into the, the hobby and says, oh, I love the crude, I think they're cool chicken men, I want to fight with them. And I say, oh, okay, we'll go to eBay. You need to find an out of print white dwarf. <laughs> it's like, um, maybe not. Obviously, I, I would actually just give them, you know, the data sheets. 
because those all exist. On my Discord server, all the rules are just there. You can just grab shit. It's fine. Uh, but I like to be able to get things officially. Uh, I do also think that giving us all of the missions is good. Obviously, when I read that, I had a little mental breakdown. But I am glad that they are giving us all of them. And where is it? All the missions? The ultimate compilation. Okay. So this actually does, to a degree, affect balance. Um, okay, GW had already said that all of the book missions were canon, can be used in competitive. Now it's kind of official and everybody will have access to them. For example, like the standout one for me has to be Necrons. Um, for one CP, your immortal can fire twice in a phase. Boom! That's crazy. That's crazy. For one CP, every Necron player just got buffed. It's a flat buff. Amazing. And that's just f for no reason. Um, oh, one CP, fire again. So good. Uh, ooh, and now everybody will know that exists. Before, only people that had bought the box, you know, when you were around at the time, knew it existed. Now everybody does. Everybody will have access to it. That's good. I don't really know what else is out there. Oh, you know what? Inter it's going to be interesting. I, they're not going to do it. You know what? I will bet money. Put your bets down below. This is it. Comment me this, boys. Or riddle me this. How much do you bet that we are not going to get the fixed version of Metabolic Overdrive? Right? So Metabolic Overdrive came out in the core book, came out worded differently in um, the Tyranid Tactic like uh, box set. And then got FAQ'd, I, I want to say twice, but maybe only once. So there's three versions, one of which is correct. I believe whatever they print here will be the most up-to-date rule, and therefore we should follow, but they're not going to update it. Guys, Tyranids Metabolic Overdrive is back. Fuck yes. That's what we like to see. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Oh, g Dubs, why do you do this to us? Why did... Put your bets down below. I promise they will not have fixed Metabolic Overdrive. Um, I am ready to eat my words if they have. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, all in all, this is actually a good thing. I'm, I'm very happy that they are giving us, like, a, a compilation. A compilation is needed. Balance points would have been nice. Nice little change. But we haven't got them. Fine. Whatever. Uh, means I can continue building teams, not have to wait another week to see whether or not they're valid. Anyway, uh, to be glass half dead, I hope you've had a good day. I hope you... Oh, hold on. Check out my Discord and my Patreon if you want. If you want rambling videos that I don't have have to reach 10 minutes with, and so do just stop when I've said enough instead of stretching it out. Like... Taffy, uh, then that's the place to be. Yeah. Anyway, this is Glass Half Dead. I hope you have a good day. I hope you continue to have a good day. Um, good days all round. Goodbye.